All right, here we have the uh, S-band front end connected to uh, the radar test bed. And we'll start from the bottom here. Here's the sweep oscillator with the S-band uh, module plugged in. Right above that is the S-band power splitter. Above that is the beat frequency oscillator. Here's the power supply digital I.O. breakout motion controller. And then above that, another power supply. The IF, IF attenuators, receive front end, transmit front end computer. And then up here we have the, uh, the real-time uh, radar control lab view. And as you know, another thing I want to point out: these are the S-band antennas. They're much bigger than the X-band horns. Um, so what we'll do is uh, we'll move this guy around, and you'll see the range plot change. See, there's a target right there, and it goes away. We move the, t the antennas up. That target is probably uh, one of my ham radios over there, which is metal and reflecting quite a bit. So we'll take this thing out in the field and uh, do some tests. All right, here is the uh, IF chassis for the for several of my radar systems. Uh, what we have here: main power light uh, bandwidth, which selects uh, three different crystal filters: um, po receiver power, transmitter power, transmit power output, DC power for transmitter, DC power for receiver, and then the uh, input outputs for all the attenuators, uh, which are over here. And usually that chassis is located in this empty spot down here. Uh, right now we have a 10 megahertz or a little over 10.7 megahertz uh, signal at minus 60 dBm injected into the chassis and you can see uh, the output on the scope. So we'll take the cover off. Alright, uh, here is the input. So we have, uh, we'll start, I guess we'll start over here, 10.7 megahertz in, coupled off here to the transmitter. The rest goes over here to the LO port of this uh, double balance mixer. The IF in from the uh, front end uh, goes to this, uh, this crystal filter box here. There are three filters and a through inside this box. And then the output of this guy goes to this amplifier. The output uh, from that one goes out to one of the filters. And then the input goes, uh, in, you know, the, the output of the, uh, I'm sorry, the output from this guy goes to attenuator. <laughs> and then the output of that attenuator comes back in to this uh, amplifier. And then the output of this guy, this amplifier goes to this last crystal filter box. The output of this guy goes down to the uh, mixer here. And then the output of this mixer goes to this uh, video amplifier. So that is the IF chassis. Okay, so when to, to run my uh, radar systems, I use National Instruments LabVIEW. And uh, these, these radar systems were developed uh, for my dissertation and master's thesis work at Michigan State University. The primary interface between the computer and the uh, LabVIEW card, which is a PCI 6014. The primary interface is this box here. It, uh, focus in. This box contains a power supply, motion control, uh, and the uh, linear FF uh, uh, chirp that is used to modulate the radar system. So let's take a look inside. Now I'll zoom out and refocus. Yeah, inside you see 
a uh, power supply, DC power supply here, linear. Uh, this this is the um, ramp generator. It's an analog ramp generator, which is triggered digitally by the uh, PCI 6014. Uh, back here is a, a motion uh, stepper motor controller for the linear rail. This is the power supply for the linear rail. Uh, you know, switch, fuse, rectifiers, what whatnot back there. This is a um, active low pass filter down here for the DAC output in case we want to use that uh, to modulate the, um, the the YIG oscillator. Back here is a breakout board from the uh, from the cable that goes to PCI 6014. And we'll take a look around back. In the rear, we have several uh, B and C connections. We have uh, you know power. Fuse motion control goes to the motor. This goes to the uh, DC power to the rest of the radar systems. Again, we can run five systems off of this one box. Um, these are the different ports. So we have uh, analog input uh, video from the radar systems. We have the DAC filter DAC output, trigger lines, the ramp output. Um, this this triggers the uh, this this fires the uh, ramp the analog ramp generator. That's the input to the analog ramp generator. Again, here's the cable from the NI box. Okay, Alright, so we're going to show the uh, range gated S-band FMCW radar. My friend Alex and I are going to walk uh, downrange there by the down tree and then back. Okay, so uh, let's hit play and then All right. Okay, we're, we're going to do the same thing again, except this time we cranked up the uh, range gate bandwidth to 15 kilohertz. Previously it was 7.5, so 15. Uh, you should see a wider swath. Alright, let's start the machine. Okay. 